What's up guys, Brandon Stay here with another video. I just pulled up to Sporty's Warehouse because I have run out of protein powder, so I need to go get some. I'm currently lean bulky at the moment, so I'm sitting on 3,800 calories, so I'm gonna try and get a more calorie dense protein powder. The goal with this lean bulk is I wanna sit around 85 kilos. So before the lean bulk, going back three weeks ago, I was I think I was 81 on the dot, so I'm now 82, 83. So I'm on track. I have been obviously training my legs again, so I do expect a kilo or two to come back to my legs as I haven't trained legs probably in the last six months due to my foot injury. The goal is, yeah, I wanna sit around 85 kilos, around 12% body fat, because I reckon that's like the perfect weight for my height. I'm 183, which is just six foot. But yeah, let's go get this protein. <sighs> Let's hope that they've got the protein I'm actually after. Because sometimes they do tend to run out because it is a pretty popular protein. Boys, they've got it. Oh, they did that big spread. This is what we're looking for. This is like the best protein powder for when you're lean bulking. Usually, look at the calories. 1200 calories per scoop, 50 grams of protein. I tend to mix my protein with French toast. I like a vanilla flavor, just so I can mix a lot of things with it. And it doesn't ruin the taste. For people that are on a budget and are chasing protein powder, this is five kilograms for, I think, 130 Australian dollars. So that literally will last me a good two to three months, which is insane. The reason why I like this protein for when I'm obviously lean bulking is due to the fact of the calories. So the calories are, if you have a full heaping scoop, 1200 calories, 50 grams of protein, and 254 grams of carbs. I just got back while well, he's about to be here in 30 minutes because we're about to train because you already know what time it is. I'm going to get into my pre-workout meal before he gets here. So it gives me about 30 minutes to let it digest. Who cool, we got here? It's gone, Mr. Slim Shady. Round three. Let's go. <laughs> the fans are wondering what, what was the reason behind you dyeing your hair? You know, midlife crisis. 22 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Anyway, we're on our way to go train some shoulders. We'll see you guys at the gym. Good boys, before we get into today's video, I just want to announce last week's giveaway winner. So the winner is Riley Singleton. If you're going to shoot us a DM on Instagram. You guys know the drill for the giveaway. All you do is make sure you like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will draw the winner in next week's video. So today I'm going to take you guys through one of my shoulder workouts on my current program that I'm running. A lot of you guys did ask in last week's video what my current split is. So at the moment I'm running chest, shoulders Monday, back and arms Tuesday. It's kind of like a push-pull leg split, but I don't train triceps with my chest and shoulders. By the time you get to the end of your session, your triceps are that fatigued, I believe. You'll get more out just having a single day towards your arms. So I like to do my arms separate with my back on Tuesday. Then I'll do Wednesday legs. And then Thursday I'll rest and I'll repeat the split over the weekend. Before I get into any shoulder or chest workout, I like to warm up my delts. Obvious reasons so you don't tear a shoulder or injure yourself. So I learned a new thing actually from my sports massage therapist the other day. So she said instead of doing the plate to warm your joints, use the cable. And so what you're going to do is you're going to pull it back, up, and then press. And this is going to completely like activate all your shoulder and your rotator cuff. So I normally will do that, you don't want to burn out too much, you just want to get some blood flow in the muscle. So I will do about 10 to 12 reps, 3 sets, just nice and light, just getting some blood and getting the joints moving before we obviously lift. So I like to start from the front of my shoulder and work my way around. So we're going to start off with the front delts obviously. We're going to start off with shoulder press on the Smith machine here. In fact, I get more of a mind, better mind muscle connection with my front delt than using the dumbbells. And obviously you can load a lot more weight on this. So you want to see your arms up about shoulder width apart, just like this. I like to use this line as a reference of my thumb, bring it in like that. And you're simply just going to roll your shoulders back to get in a nice stable position. And then you're just going to slowly down and then explode up. And just really focusing on that mind muscle connection with your front delt. Two plates, two plates. Yeah, two plates. Gonna back on 225, see how that moves. To be honest, feeling strong right now, so maybe aim for 240, see how we go this set. Yes. 
psycho. Well, 225 for both of us didn't move the best. So we're going to stay on that for another two sets. Same thing, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Let's get into it. Uh, Galactic Joggers. Yep. Don't lay street on. What code? What's the code? Code star. That's it, baby. The big secret to a pump. Honey. Are you ready? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good. You want some? <laughs> you want some? Yeah, I have some. Uh, wrap it up with exercise one. We're going to move it to the side del. So, for this exercise, we're going to do some side lateral raises. And the same thing for this, you're going to do three working sets, we're going to do 10 to 15 reps this time, and on the last set, we're going to do a killer drop set that will run you guys through. So with this exercise, you're going to do two things. You're going to make sure that your wrist are lower than your elbows, so sort of like this. You're not going to be swinging the right like this. It's nice and controlled. Like that. Start again for that exercise. Three working sets, boys. 10 to 12 reps. Let's get into it. Last set, I'm gonna throw a little cheeky drop set. So I want you to guard three different weights of dumbbells. So I'm gonna do 15, 12, and 10. Pretty much you're gonna do 10 reps, then drop set, 10 reps again, drop set again. Exercise three, we're going to move to some upright rows with the machine over here. So same again for this, we're going to be doing three working sets, 10 to 12 reps, really controlling the eccentric on the way down and exploding on the way up. This is going to smash your side delt and a little bit of your front delt. Put my hands like this on the bar, pretty much just in front of shoulder width apart. And all you're going to do is just up, like that. Drive up, shoulder the way down. the rear delts. We're going to be doing some bent over rows. This is probably by far my favourite exercise for rear delts due to the fact I get the quite best my muscle connection with this exercise. So all you want to do, hold your dumbbells like this, just nice and loose in your wrist, just kind of hanging there, and you're just going to go out like that. Same again for this exercise, three working sets, 10 to 12 reps, really focusing on the control and focusing on that my muscle connection with your rear delt. Feeling game enough and up for it, you really want to push yourself. I like to throw this at the end of my shoulder exercise, so pretty much it's just a burn out. I have two plates, two and a half kilos, trust me, this exercise is fun for me. So pretty much you're just going to go 10 front raises like that, and then you're going to flip the weight over like this, 10 again, just 
just like that. Nice and controlled, slow, time and attention, focus on that mind muscle connection. And then you're going to move into the front side, that old. You're going to move into this. 10 again. And then you're going to move the side, that always. 10 again. And then the final, three delts, 10 again. And I'm telling you, that's one entire set. And you want to do three working sets of that. I'm telling you, boys, burn. I would say this is pretty similar to my ab workout, but just for your shoulders. Go okay, front, like that, other way. Yeah, like that. 10, front, yep. Then move 10, yep. to this breakfast place before it closes. It closes at two. Sort of like an American style breakfast, sort of like IHOP, I guess. We're here, boys. Let's go get some food, because I'm fucking starving. Hey, how are you, man? The last time we were actually here was with Asia for the 10K calorie challenge. That is very overdue. I need to do one of those again since I am lean bulking. This is what we want, boys. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Dude, the chocolate peanut butter looks insane. I wonder how many calories we've got. These at least gotta be a thousand calories each. I think I'm gonna go the eggs Benedict and and eggs Benedict and Devil's Delight. Wait, that looks insane. Wait, wait, wait. So. Like, Devil's Delight looks like the go to me. Look at that. Oh my god. You get Devil's Delight pancakes and eggs Benedict. Think so. And I need some caffeine, so I need a coffee. Oh my fucking god. I'm happy with this. This looks, this looks extremely good, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, please. Well, I'm gonna get into this breakfast and I'll tell you guys, I'll give you guys a little review on like what I think of this. Going off first look and the visuals. Very similar to IHOP, I would say. Especially like the hash brown. I don't know why, but Americans like do this weird like cheese cheese grated hash brown. I don't know. It tastes good though. Yeah, let's get into this. today's video guys i hope you did enjoy today's video the support on the last two videos has been insane guys i honestly appreciate it love you guys but as i said i'm going to be sticking to that weekly grind so if you got any video ideas please drop them down below in the comments i will literally do anything to an extent obviously but only 50 percent of you guys that are watching at the moment are subscribed so if you guys could please hit that subscribe button like the video turn those post notifications on because it really does help push these videos out on that algo and i'll see you boys in next week's video